one. Salvi, thanks for coming on. Appreciate you coming on the show. Appreciate you having me here. Now, introduce yourself to the folks uh, in, in our audience. Uh, folks need to know that uh, we are doing this as as you are streaming. This is the first time for us. Uh, could you introduce yourself <laughs> to the, the YouTube folks? To the YouTube folks, I am the Mad Salvi. I am a squirrel um, kimini momo, as they call it. Kimini momo, which basically is, uh, you know, I have squirrel ears, squirrel tail, kimini momo, I believe it's called. Uh, sometimes I get mistaken for a furry, but I'm not, just letting you know. <laughs> uh, but... I primarily so far right now have been doing VTuber news, you know, anything that pops up that is interesting. I do gaming on the side, of course, but recently there's been a lot of, you know, VTuber news popping up. So I've been focusing a lot on that. A little bit, just a slight bit of VTuber news going on. <laughs> <laughs> a teensy bit, just, a smidge. Just enough to keep your attention for a while. It, it's it's um, amazing to see and unfortunate to see that uh, everything is Everything pops up like this uh, in in a, a place where, to the outsider anyway, it, it looks like it would be a, a kind of a safer place for some people. And it turns out that in, in many cases, it's not. I hope it is for you. It has been for me. The community has really, it's a wonderful thing. I love the community. Uh, every community, of course, has its downsides, has its, has its dark places, but... They have really rallied around me putting this news out. They've really rallied around this little squirrel here. They haven't really given, even normal people who really don't normally watch VTubers, haven't really given me as much hate as I expected. Mm -hmm. um, and this has brought more people to my channel um, and m more people to see my voice. So it really makes me happy that at least some positive is coming out of this whole really bad situation, honestly. And it really is a, a bad situation, but it, it's always... But you know, I was in the I was in the radio business for 35 years. Some of it in news, some of it in sports, all over the place. And unfortunately, the uh, the best part of best part of things for the messenger is always that if there's something bad happening, <laughs> that's when they pay more attention to us. Uh, uh, you hate to see it, but also it's nice to see the numbers pile up. Yeah, the numbers do pile up. And um, one thing that I try to do is. I have specifically told people with, because of the whole situation, you know, when, when things like this blow up, everyone talks about it and everyone says things about it. I wasn't, I was included in that, but what I really wanted for the people. And I mentioned a lot was to take care of their mental health right. because things like this can be ta taxing, even if you aren't the parties involved. Oh, absolutely. You know, there are people who I've, I've been doing these interviews and uh, talking to the, just the, the VTubers alone. There are people who are so devoted to uh, their um, their favorite VTuber, their escape, that anything that happens to them, the VTuber happens to them in uh, in multiples. And uh, while some folks say well, that's a that's a bad way to live your life, it doesn't matter if it's a bad way to live your life because it happens, <laughs> and it it can affect you uh, really badly. And uh, I really hope it's not affecting people too badly, but I can't I can't say. For a fact that it isn't unfortunately uh i from what i go go ahead go ahead sorry i don't know you're you're, you're gone uh from what i have seen yes it has affected some people negatively because inherently in vtubing and in youtuber space period when you have a personality in front of you there's going to be some parasocialism mm -hmm. some part where you connect a little bit more a little deeper than you would just a person on the street just a random dude right. because for some for a lot of these people they spend hours of their day, months of their life, sometimes even years of their life, talking, commiserating, becoming a part of the community for these people, and then seeing a company mistreat them or seeing a situation where they are now sad, even if the company didn't mistreat them, but they're now sad, it reflects on them as well because they're like, I wish I could do something to help this person, this this VTuber member, this, you know, whoever it may be. Uh, and they can't do anything more than just say, you know, I'm here for you or, or just be there in their streams. Uh, the reason why for me, it is very important for um, people to take a little bit of a mental health break, a, a moment to just relax, is that, yes, these there are people behind the VTubers, as you know, I'm a person behind this. And sorry to break the immersion, people, but, you know, there are people behind them and they do have regular lives and hopefully they have a, a support structure 
Uh, but I, especially with this, with all the things, you know how it gets when there's large amount of news right. hitting all at the same time. Right. It can overwhelm a lot of people. Yes. And I made, like, specifically during Valentine's Day, instead of making it, like, a straight Valentine's Day stream, I made it a decompression stream. Like, all day, I did decompression of other things, watching funny things, watching whatever, you know, could take away from this whole situation. Be and I got positive reviews for it because people were like, yeah, I was starting to get stressed out. I was starting to get down. It was starting to mess with me. And I'm like, well, that's why it's very good that you actually go and take a break, you know, at any time that you can. You're absolutely right. And and it, it can overwhelm you and, and, and take it away, not only from your enjoyment, but from your everyday life. You, there's a lot of things you shouldn't take home with you. There's a lot of things you shouldn't take to your job with you. Um, and it's bad to see things happen. Bad things happen to people that you like. But if you really can't do anything about it, try not to let it affect yourself and your own life. It doesn't help anybody. It That is very true. Uh, one of the, the things that I will mention as a VTuber and being part of the VTuber community, uh, the community does have a little bit stronger, it seems like emotional ties to the personalities. Absolutely. So in some cases, yeah, in some cases, absolutely, there have been situations where people take it uh, personally. Whatever happening to them, to the VTuber, it's like it's happening to them personally. It's like they did it to a family member or they did it to a friend. And while that, many people will say, is unhealthy or whatever you have, whatever have you, there are people who are against it. I say that's, you know, normal human behavior that is that is wanting to be a part of this group, wanting to protect your group. It is a natural part of human emotion. But uh, everything that I try to push on all of my streams is just if it's too much for you, I'm not. I have said specifically to people who watch me, I'm not going to blame you if you leave for a week. I'm not going to blame you if you leave for a day or two, because what I'm saying is not going well in for your mental health with all this, you know, the news cycle. I'm not going to blame you. I'm still going to be here. I'm not going to just reject you because you're gone. I'm going to understand because I'm a human being, too. And it weighs heavily on all of us, you know? Absolutely. When I was doing the news uh, thing on the radio and, and sports news, sometimes the sports news wasn't very good either. Um, you have to, there are going to be some people who take it a lot harder than others, and they depend on that. And it's that de dependency that really gets to them in the end. Um, and it, it is just human nature, in, in my opinion. And, and, and you, you spelled it out absolutely perfectly, I think. And, and uh, I can sit here from, from my old age and wave a flag saying, hey, don't do this, but that's not going to stop it from happening. <laughs> just going to make me feel better for waving a flag at you. So it, just uh, the fact is that there are people out there, such as yourself, who are trying to get information out to people in as, as um, I'm going to say the word clean, a way as possible in that it's got the facts. And that uh, you can you can sprinkle a little bit of what's going on outside of it but the facts will speak for themselves in the end absolutely every single time that i put out a video i always you know preface it with saying i am going to have a little bit of editorialism in here there is going to be some me editorializing this whole thing and those are just my opinions you can make your own as well but i will present the facts right in front of you and i do ask you to you know if you think that something's wrong here investigate further and, you know, take it with a grain of salt, because in, in the case of right now, what's happening, you're getting one side saying a lot of things, the other side staying quiet because they want to be done with it. And in that case, you're going to get one side of the story a lot more than the other. And that could skew things in one way or the other. And I, as someone who wants to, at the very least, have people be like, oh, OK, this person is trying to keep it level headed, not be like, oh, this person is all about hate. You know, I want to be seen as someone who's a little bit more level headed in this field so what got you started in this why did uh, why did you decide to first be a vtuber and then secondly be a news vtuber at first the vtubing thing i'll be very oh. honest with you it started with like hololive uh hololive is a large corporation in japanese vtubing and it was it was during the time of the pandemic the time that that you know everyone was at home and I was like, okay, let's look at interesting things. And a clip popped up just because, I don't know, I guess I was watching something that was related. A clip popped up of a person named uh, Tsunomaki Watame, and that got me into VTubing. Now, 
I was doing just gaming, just doing whatever the heck I wanted for a while. And getting into news VTubing was because I was having a lot of talking with friends about my opinions and feeling like certain sides weren't being, you know, represented out there on maybe a more laid back side, maybe a more not so crazy side of, you know, like trying to just go witch hunt, witch hunt and attack. And I wanted that voice to be out there. A lot of the larger ones are like that, but I wanted to be someone that adds to that, to showing you what I think is interesting, what I think is important, and hopefully sending a message out there while I'm giving you that news. It's always good to have a different angle. Uh, and when you look at a situation that's happening, uh, you could have some people give one side, some people give another side. It's not always two dimensional. It's three dimensional thinking. And sometimes you need to use all three dimensions. And that is a good trait to have when you're trying to bring somebody uh, the news. Absolutely. Um, that is a trait that I have seen in journalists and I want to emulate. Of course, every single human being is going to have a little bit of subjectivity to things, going to have a little bit of personal uh, effects to their news because they are the people presenting it. But I don't want to inject myself into things too much because then it could be seen as a bad faith actor and I don't ever want to be considered one of those, you know? Yeah, and it can happen in a hurry. Uh one one stray comment that you make, you, you put yourself on the firing line here, and I, I know you know this. You one stray comment that you make, something that you put in a, a uh, an online statement, and suddenly you've got that pain on you and you're not going to be able to get it off. Exactly. And right now, oh, were you going to say anything else? No. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to interrupt anything. Or no, anything. no, no, go ahead. Uh, when it comes to that, especially right now, with how heated both sides are, there are defenders of the large corporation that is the issue right now. Uh, and there are people who are looking for a witch hunt. And anything right now, for me, that's why I'm trying to stay objective and in the middle, anything that even, even gives a semblance of swaying to one side or the other brings hate. I mean, I've already gotten hate comments that I've reported and all that type of stuff. Right. I've already gotten that. You're going to get that just by being on YouTube. Oh yeah. So I, I, I don't let, I don't let it, I don't let it, uh, affect me like in a mental way. I have thick skin in that sense. I've made sure to do that. But, um, there are people that give me constructive criticisms and I always look in and I'm always like, okay, I'll take this criticism and I'll try to fix it next time to show them that I am an, I am, I'm a human. I am somebody that is going to be making these mistakes. Yes, uh, the way I editorialize it may not be exactly the way that you see it, but look at the points that I'm putting here and look at the evidence that I'm putting to try to back up what I'm saying. I'm not just saying it because I want to scream it to the clouds. It's more like this is what I'm seeing in front of me and this is my idea of why it's happening or, you know, just my idea of, of the situation. It's not an easy It's not an easy path to walk because you can get yourself mired into people who just love chaos and or want to throw their name into it and, and, and get uh, semi-famous over an incident that they have nothing to do with. Absolutely. And uh, it is, like you're saying, it's very hard. I, I know that like on the radio also, it's because you guys have so many viewers at, at, a, at a time, especially, I don't know if you were in any uh, radio kind of station where they did call-ins, those can get extra heated as well because everybody everybody has an opinion and everybody wants to say it. And usually the ones that have the strongest opinions are the ones that are going to be calling in. Let me, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> I was a, a radio a sports talk show host for a football team, major college football team, that twice went 0-11. You can't, you can't possibly, possibly insult me any more than those folks did <laughs> and you, you got to be able to keep a level head just to show up for work the next day that so that that's not gonna that's not gonna bother me but for some folks who aren't used to that sort of thing it can cause you to start jaundicing your eye a little bit and you have to stay above the fray absolutely and like you said also being human and being susceptible to emotional attacks and being susceptible to your emotions uh getting hit and hurt in whichever way by you know because people get very personal especially with sports oh, yeah. i i applaud you for doing what you did because sports you have a lot of people 
that are extremely fanatical about their team. And, and also in specific in some specific states it gets worse. Yeah, it does. And I imagine that some of that in a strange way uh, applies to the VTuber community as well. The VTuber fans and the followers and that they become rabid supporters. Everything that their favorite person does Hatter, is hate six, crew perfect. six, death six, roll. Donated two pounds through Super get, Chat. Got to remember Keep too, up the good work, man. That, Things got to change. Not good in the situation are human beings, and they're not going to be perfect every time either. Absolutely. They're not going to be perfect every time. No one is going to be perfect every time. Every single person involved is going to have their prejudices, their things that um, are going to push them to say one thing or another. Um, and I, I try to stay by the fray, like you said. Yeah, it's very, it'd be very easy in, in the situation that we're talking about to take a side and just and and put up all of your your uh, barriers and and just fire off from there. But it, it takes a it takes a steady hand and a steady mind to try and try and be as fair as possible. And uh, and good luck to you in doing that. Because uh, I'm I'm glad I'm just talking to people and not having to do the news anymore. <laughs> and I'm very very happy that that you have uh, that you offered to take you know to to talk to me and taking your time out of your day to chat with me taking the time out of your day to um, just kind of learn about the whole VTubing space, learning about yeah. how everyone's stories. And um, that's not something that a lot of people would do, honestly. It's not something that a lot of people would actually even try to do. But they, uh, every VTuber that I've talked to has a good story. And there and there are people who are who uh, may never, I mean, I, I we haven't got a chance to talk about your backstory very much, but... Uh, there are people who maybe were uh, shut-ins who suddenly, said, you know, I can I can come on to this and and show the world exactly what I can do, or people who were yeah. who were um, uh, very uh, shy uh, when they were younger, and here they with the the chance of using an avatar, they get to kind of expand their horizons a little bit. Heck, I'm I talk today. I've I've done. Several interviews. I talked to somebody in Europe, somebody in South Australia, somebody. You know, this is this is amazing to me, uh, and I hope that uh, that that hopefully that reflects itself in the interviews. And uh, we're not what I'm doing here. We're not doing straight up news. <laughs> I'm not here to, to rip anybody. Uh, I'm not here to, to look up Salvi's credit score and 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 find out <laughs> find out exactly why uh, why people are calling him day and night. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm just here to have have uh, have a good talk with folks, and and, um, and uh, I and it is it is a lot different. What you're doing is a lot different than what I'm doing here. Uh, I wish you the best in it. Do you have any big plans coming up for the channel? Um, hopefully soon. <laughs> Pivot away from this uh, the big you know issue that happens now. Uh, I'm hoping that both parties kind of just calm down, like the the main party calms down, and and you know. I can get into doing a little bit of gaming, do a little bit of things like that. Uh, the fans have said that at 5K, if I get to 5K, that's a big if with the way YouTube is. If I ever get to 5K, they're going to make me do a meme dance and song. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that uh, with the dancing part, but I'm definitely going to do a meme song, and uh, that's what they want me to do. So uh, look forward to if I ever get to 5K, I'm going to have a meme song, and it's going to be like the main thing on the channel for at least a month. Well, you heard him, Chad. That uh, that is a uh, a challenge set down before you. <laughs> you know, to get involved, so so you can see that coming up. Uh, it's the situation. Just one one little thing is that people have to realize that there are real people involved in the big story. There are is a one person definitely who had a situation to the point where they were hospitalized. That is their health going forward as needs to be everyone's main focus and not trying to, you know, go after somebody else. But let's let's make sure everybody goes home safe at the end, okay? Absolutely. Uh, that is one thing I'm pushing all the time uh, because during these things, especially hearing, like what you mentioned, about the person that had to go to the hospital for an attempt, um, that is a situation no one wants to be in. And I consistently repeat to the people who watch me, 
do not be a perpetrator of that type of hate, that type of harassment that got someone to that point. Do not try to get someone else to that point. Yeah. Just focus on the company itself uh, and try to make changes that you want to happen in the company, but don't attack the individuals who are just, in this case, trying to entertain, trying to do their job under not necessarily the best of circumstances, but they're not the ones, hopefully, they weren't the ones doing those things. And we don't know who it is or isn't because right now everything, rightfully so, has been kept private. Yeah. It's a, so it's a legal, it, witch hunts aren't good. It's a legal thing. Let's keep it uh, legal and, and nobody needs to know everything. Uh, that's ridiculous. Exactly. Let's keep it in that. And let, let, let the lawyers deal with the lawyer stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to deal with any lawyers. I've, I've dealt with a million of them and they're... They're, they're way out of my league. They, and I, no more lawyers for me. Thank you very much. The, the, the <laughs> Here's one thing I, I, that too to remember for folks is the people who come on and do these streams, in, in, in my own opinion, including uh, Salvi here and, and everyone else who does it on, on whatever stage to whatever audience, are putting themselves out, in my opinion, courageously to an audience they don't know, they don't see, could be the entire planet, and trying to entertain you. And I hope that people keep that in mind. That there is a lot of, uh, even though there's a there's an avatar out there, there's a there's a model. There's a lot of the the person out there too, putting themselves out to try and entertain you. And that is what their bottom line is. And I hope that that's what folks keep as the bottom line as they as they listen to and enjoy people on uh, VTubing. I hope that I hope that's what happens. Thank you so much for saying that, because uh, a lot of people don't, because of the fact we have that model, uh, they have a disconnect of there being an actual person behind it. And I'm, it's part of the what's, what's called kayfabe in VTubing, which is basically, it came from wrestling. I know, basically, I did a lot the of story you keep, Yeah. <laughs> a lot of you keep wrestling. the kayfabe going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you keep the kayfabe going, but, but looking behind the mask, of course, there's like... There's a kayfabe, and then there's a person behind it continuing the kayfabe, and the person behind it can be hurt by anything that you say. Yeah. They're people, too, with hearts. So, you know, that, thank you. I appreciate that. And listen listen to Salvi here. Would you want to hurt this man? No, you wouldn't want to hurt <laughs> He's trying to help you. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll get you I in here soon. Just, just let me know what's going on with the channel, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time and for um, – you know, looking to make a specific time for me and everything. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for, for everything. All right. That's going to be the end of our interview. Uh, are we, are we still up with your chat? Yeah, we're still up with the chat. Uh, I, I kind of just, you know, let it, let it go. They, they were, they were doing their wild things as chat does when you're not paying attention, but yeah, <laughs> they're still there. Well, I, I appreciate you, you uh, doing this first time we did something live because uh, everything that we do is, is taped and we always try to, um, if there had been something that, that we talked about that you came back later and said, oh, I don't really want that out, we would go ahead and edit it out. And I'm not I'm not trying to put anybody behind the eight ball. Um, oh, no, absolutely. Thank uh, you. We're just trying to have some fun here. Uh, we've, we've had a, a, a lot of folks wanting to come on. It's it's um, heartening to me that people still want to talk to the old man. And uh, and we have, we have fun with it. But, folks, you got a good fellow here, got a good person here. Uh, keep, the, keep up the numbers and you've got that challenge in front of you if you want to make sure <laughs> if you want to see him dance <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you know the number and the, <laughs> exactly and the thing with, with the dancing just to give you a little bit of, of a peek behind the, the, uh, the curtain is there's a there's a program called Miku Miku Doga, which is a, a Japanese program for dancing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can put my model in there. And I, it, as long as I have the specific dance with the wireframes, mm -hmm. I can make my do my model do that dance. <laughs> so that's one of the things that's probably going to end up having to happen. Oh, man, alive. Uh, I'm going to have to tune in to see that because I do want to see that for sure. That's up to you, Jeff. <laughs> that's up to you. I've done all I can do. Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, uh, Sal and, and honestly, again, really, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, folks, have a good, uh, wherever you are, day, night, evening, uh, I'm going to go have a good sleep because I'm an old man and I'm tired. Yes. <laughs> have, a good have a good rest. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. So that was it, chat. Uh, <laughs> interrupted by a super chat. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm not angry. <laughs>
I just found that kind of funny. It got interrupted by a super chat. That is going to go in the final product. For goodness sakes, it's going to go into the final product. I swear I'm not going to cut it out because that was just funny. And I do appreciate your, your message for the super chat and that we're going to leave it like that. So I do thank you for, for listening in while I was doing this. It was kind of fun. It was, it was a whole new thing for me. I had to really think about what I was going to say, but it was very, very fun.